Um, well, generally, the role of a music publisher is to kind of three broad positions, um, is to control and protect the copyright of uh, the composers or the writers, uh, to exploit that copyright, so to exploit the songs through licensing, um, you know, helping uh, writers to get demo recordings so they maybe can take it to a, um, a record label, um, and then to administer the income. So um, if there's the reproduction of the song, um, the publisher will typically collect that income and then distribute it to the writer. They will also um, collect the, generally collect the APRA income and then be able to distribute it through in the shares that has been agreed in the loyalty contracts. Okay, so what, what are the types of contracts involved between the composer, the writer and the music publisher? Yeah. Um, there's a couple of different types of relationships that a writer can have with the publisher. Um, the, I suppose the most, the most well-known form of publishing contract is um, a term publishing. So basically the writer signs with the publisher and for a, a period of time, so it could be three years, five, you know, six, it just really depends on what you negotiate. Um, and then once that period is ended, then the publisher will have a retention period, so they may hold on to the copyright for another 10, 12 <coughs> years. Um, during the time that a writer is signed to a publisher, um, anything that that publisher, uh, sorry, that writer composes during that time will be licensed or assigned to the publisher, and the publisher will have exclusive rights to exploit that. That's one form. Just maybe, uh, just if you can, explain the difference between assignment and licensing? licensing. Yep. Um, an assignment, if you assign copyright, you basically assign all the rights over a full assignment. So the publisher will own the copyright for that period that you've assigned it. Um, in terms of licensing, it, it's a little bit different. You can have an exclusive license or you can have a non-exclusive license. Um, and you can also, uh, as Darren kind of touched on, um, copyright consists of what we generally term as a bundle of rights. So you can actually split the rights that you grant to a publisher. So you may withhold certain rights or grant them the, all the rights. So licensing gives you a little bit of flexibility. Which, um, which you wouldn't have with an assignment where you transfer your whole copyright. That's right, yeah. Oh. And yeah, any other type of contract? Uh, yep, there's also an admin deal. Um, an admin deal is basically where the publisher or the administrator will administer <laughs> put a lot of administers in there um, administer the rights so generally with that they the relationship is more about them seeking exploitation of it but there is a focus on them collecting the income as well and typically um, in an assignment, you may only assign certain works. You, it's not necessarily all the works that you compose during a, a period, but there is a time that you put on, you know, how long they can administer that for. Um, the other thing is just a single song assignment where you assign a song to a publisher, just one particular work. So, and again, yeah. And again, you allow, the, the, again, the publisher will then be in charge of uh, uh, having administering the rights and collecting right. royalties from reproduction or, or performing. Um, yeah. Okay. If you were to name, let's say, three or more of the most important clauses uh, of a publisher agreement, what would they be? Yeah. Um, I think, well, royalties would have to <laughs> most certainly be the most important one. The royalties uh, will set out, the royalty clause will set out what um, percentage of the income that you're entitled to. So it's, as you can imagine, um, a highly negotiated point um, because the publisher will obviously try to seek a percentage that's favourable <coughs> to them and the writer will obviously try to seek a percentage that's favourable to the writer. Um, the territory is another really important clause or definition, I suppose, um, because you can actually give um, the publisher rights only in certain territories. So, for example, Australia, New Zealand, um, whole of the world could be Australia, New Zealand and Europe. So you can actually withhold the rights for certain territories. So 
if, for example, a publisher is entitled to exploit the copyright in Australia and New Zealand, um, but if you don't give them the rights for the world, they wouldn't be entitled to exploit it in any other countries, which means then you can go and do another deal um, with another publisher in, in a different territory. But you wouldn't have money being collected from those other territories either. <laughs> and if the money's good enough from the publisher, then you pretty much have to give them the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking from someone who works for a publisher. <laughs> um, so that's, that's another important you know, negotiated, negotiated point. Um, the advance is another, is another point. Um, often you'll, the publisher will offer you an advance to, to sign and that's an advance against royalties. So basically you will be paid a, a certain fee on signing. Um, the publisher then is entitled to recoup that against kind of future earnings. So when you start earning money from your royalties, um, the publisher will Recoup the advance. So it's a loan, basically. It's a, yeah, a similar no. idea to a loan. Um, and then I also think that it's important to have um, obligations on the publisher to exploit the work because the last thing you want to do is hand over the rights and the publisher not do anything with it. So that'd be the kind of main yeah. things. Yeah.